So I've talked about why I absolutely love the protests that we're seeing of Senator Kirsten Sinema. I love the protest of ASU students following her into a bathroom, confronting her about her refusal to support or even negotiate with other Democrats about the Build Back Better Act. I think that that is all necessary because if you refuse to hold a town hall, if you refuse to meet with your constituents, they have no other means of actually communicating with you. So they have to do things like this. I mean, they can leave you voice messages, but you're not going to return their calls. You're not even going to listen to them. Staffers will listen to them. So this is the only mechanism that they have. It's the only tactic that they have that's effective. And we know that this is an effective tactic because it actually led to you putting out a statement to talk about how much you hated this tactic. She uh, released a statement claiming that this is not a legitimate form of protest, but I mean, protest is supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. So if you don't want them to follow you around on airplanes and at airports and in bathrooms, meet with them and stop refusing to negotiate with your Democratic Party colleagues in order to head to private donor retreats. Just do better and maybe this will stop. But, you know, most people actually seem to be against Kirsten Cinema, and they're in support of these protesters. One of the protesters was a dreamer. But do you want to know who is siding with Kirsten Cinema here? The far right. And they are rushing to her defense. Hmm, I wonder why that's the case. One of them is white nationalist Stephen Miller who used to work with Donald Trump's administration, he tweeted out support saying, as you can see below, illegal aliens are unlawfully harassing a U.S. senator to demand passage of Biden's budget reconciliation bill because it will give them amnesty. A confident country would not allow lawbreakers to criminally harass lawmakers to reward their lawbreaking. Shameful. Shameful. But this is exactly who Stephen Miller is, and this is one of the allies that Kirsten Sinema is making. Someone who is uh, against immigration, period. If he had his way, he would close off all borders indefinitely. He doesn't want anyone here who doesn't look like him, who doesn't have the same complexion as he does. And now he's defending Kirsten Cinema because she is an obstacle to passing immigration reform. And any priority that would benefit normal Americans, including that dreamer who is an American, and Mike Lee also came to her defense, saying, Senator Cinema is a friend. I am appalled by this behavior. There is no place in civilized society for the type of harassment she suffered. First of all, uh, she was not harassed. They were incredibly polite. And there's no place in civilized society for this much suffering, which is being caused by individuals like Kirsten Cinema, who's refusing to act. I mean, this is all the result of her own actions or inaction, I should say. Had she actually took the time to meet with her constituents and hear their concerns, they wouldn't have to follow her into bathrooms. This is a public servant. She serves them. One of the people who confronted her helped get her elected. They canvassed for her. And you're going to say that this is uh, terrible and th th this b behavior is so appalling. You know what? Save your pearl clutching. If you're going to clutch your pearls, clutch it at the suffering that we're seeing in this late stage capitalist hellscape that far right wingers like you helped build. But that wasn't all because uh, Turning Point USA's Charlie Kirk also chimed in and he somehow had a worse, more disgustingly egregious racist response than white nationalist Stephen Miller. I, I wish I were kidding about this. He told you that the Democrats are going to eat their own that they are going to go into a widespread Democrat civil war very, very soon. So now here you have a Democrat senator from Arizona on a college campus, which is like a home turf, that is being followed into the restroom by illegal aliens. These are illegal aliens. These are, these are trespassers in our country. They should be deported immediately with all of their friends, which won't happen. And the question is, how many Joe Biden have realized, how many Joe Biden voters have now realized that Build Back Better is actually just a Marxist incantation? I know so many people that voted for Joe Biden that are now regretting it for good reason. Senator Cinema has responded to the left wing protesters who recorded her inside of the Arizona bathroom calling it a lawless demonstration, which it was. And they should all be arrested. But they won't be, because if they get arrested, 
Well, they might get arrested, but they definitely won't be deported. What would happen if a Republican chased a Democrat senator into the restroom? Insurrectionist, domestic terrorist. We would know their name and they would be arrested. If a Republican did what the illegal alien Democrat activists did at Arizona State University, they would be indefinitely incarcerated in solitary confinement. That was absolutely deeply offensive, but totally on brand for a racist piece of shit like Charlie Kirk. He says illegal aliens, uh, these trespassers uh, in our country, they should be deported immediately with all of their friends. They should be arrested. You know, if I had my way, I would take a hundred dreamers like that girl who confronted Kirsten Cinema in exchange for you. If we could send you to some other country, just anywhere, I, I would prefer that. I'd prefer that dreamer over you. She's the real American. You're not the real American. You're the traitor to America. Fuck you, Charlie Kirk. You're a piece of shit. And notice how embedded in everything that he says, it's always this persecution complex, this right-wing victim complex. He said that if a right-winger did that to Kirsten Cinema, they would be indefinitely incarcerated in solitary, solitary confinement. No, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. They've done this before. Uh, in fact, just a couple of years ago, Alex Jones harassed Bernie Sanders in an airport, and he didn't have a legitimate reason to harass Bernie Sanders. He was just following him around, just spouting off random nonsense about how he has three mansions and how socialism is bad and it's destroying the country. Was Alex Jones arrested? No, it happens all the time. But Charlie Kirk really wants to believe that right-wingers are always the victims, but in actuality, it's the people who he called an illegal alien, the human being who he called an alien. That's the victim here. They're victimized by right-wing senators like Kirsten Sinema who refuse to act. Now, this became such a huge thing for right-wingers that one actually questioned the White House press secretary about Joe Biden's comments because he was pretty unsympathetic and his response i think was perfect he said yeah it happens this is part of the process and um Ducey's son I i'm blanking on his name is it steve or doug it's one of the Ducey's, the fail son the imbecile he questioned jen Psaki about this and and look at the feigned outrage it's so insufferable uh, a group of activists followed senator kirsten cinema into a ladies room screaming about the build back better plan yesterday the president said today i don't think they're appropriate tactics but it happens to everybody and it's part of the process. He is an expert on the process. Has he ever been chased into a restroom by well, activists? Let, let me be clear here because I think the context of what happened here is very important. Um, and Senator Sinema put out a statement this morning. So as she said, and I would reiterate from here, the protection of the freedom to protest, to speak out, and to criticize is fundamental to our democracy. The president believes that. Maybe he shorthanded it, but he wanted to make that clear this morning. What happened this week was that her classroom, her students, uh, and, and the safe and intellectually stimulating environment she's worked to create during the years she's of teaching at, at ASU were, was breached. That's inappropriate and unacceptable. And I think the context of what happened here is important, despite the fact that, of course, we stand for, the president stands for, the fundamental right of people to protest, to object, to criticize, uh, as they often do outside of the gates of the White House. So does the White House condemn these protesters who chased her into the room? I just said it was inappropriate appropriate and unacceptable we'll, i think that we'll pretty much not to do that again i think that's pretty clear that they shouldn't uh, they shouldn't uh, uh breach the the classroom and make the students feel like their privacy their intellectually stimulating classroom uh and their time as students in college is being uh broke. okay i can't take any more that was a weak response from jen saki don't back down never back down only double down when it comes to right wingers see they're pretending as if it's Kirsten Sinema who's the victim. That's the narrative that the right-wing media sphere and right-wingers in general are trying to put out there, right? They're trying to make it seem as if Kirsten Sinema, she was victimized. She was followed into a, into a bathroom. This is so terrible. Except that's not the case. She wasn't victimized. She's the victimizer. She's victimizing people like her constituent, constituents who were forced to confront her because they had no other means of communicating with their senator who represents them, nobody else. You know, these right-wingers, they'll call that dreamer an illegal alien, which no human being is an alien, but they'll say, you know, she should be deported. And 
anything she says is invalid because she's not a citizen. But yet, she pays taxes, probably. I'm assuming she's a worker. She's been here since, since she was three years old. She pays taxes. She's more of an American than most billionaires are in the United States who dodge taxes. But yet, they get representation. The corporate donors who give thousands of dollars to Kirsten Cinema, she hears them out. Hmm. I wonder why that is. So, I mean, long story short, Kirsten Cinema has made a bunch of new friends with the far right. So she needs to be uh, primaried and excommunicated from the Democratic Party. And anything that they can do to punish her in Congress, they should do that. Meanwhile, her constituents need to continue to keep the pressure on her and confront her and heckle her every single day, everywhere she goes. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>